Okay. Hello everybody, it's Elite Machine 07. Just wanted to take a few minutes away from gameplay and let you know things I've noticed and seen and experienced. Um, right now we're playing as Locust for the Overrun. Um, this The beta version is on the map Skyline. Um, and the things I've noticed right off the bat is normally when you go down as a uh, uh, player, uh, the Canis can revive you like I'm doing now. You can revive people or pick them back up. Uh, if if you don't have a Canis, um, I believe they could still pick you up, um, you know, individually. But the thing is, is one thing I noticed that's good is that from Call of Duty, they have something called Martyr. Um, people, when they were playing Gears 3 and they go down, um, basically they could act stupid around you, teabag you, whatever, and just act stupid and then just kill you off. Well, you have a grenade capability now in this, uh, at least overrun here from what it looks. And uh, when you go down, they have to be cautious around you because you can blow them up now. So that's, in my opinion, a good thing because it's going to lim limit a lot of stupidity when it comes to that. Um, some other uh, positive things I've seen is, uh, and again, this is you know 50-50 issue. Um, it seems as if the characters that were traditionally weaker in Gears 3, like Maulers, Tickers, even the Canis gun itself. Um, I believe this is a, a special unlockable gun the Canis is using right now, the classic hammer burst rapid fire. Um, and the Canis gun specifically here is, in my opinion, much, much more stronger than the Gears 3 one. Uh, you'll see me shoot a little bit here. I mean, you can just hear it stronger, and it, and it traditionally uh, feels, and from gameplay, does look a lot stronger. Um, so, when it comes to the gameplay itself, um, I notice the best ways to try to approach Overrun is try to take the barriers out first by shooting with Lancer because you got a lot of ammo doing that. Um, I did notice too right off the bat the best ways to approach uh, playing as Locust is typically Grenadiers. I see people playing with that a lot because they have the grenade capabilities um, and also Lancer and Shotgun. So that's a, that's a huge plus. And also when you're playing as Cog I notice a lot of people like to play as Mechanic Bear because you get to uh, re repair the defensives right away which give you a a great deal of points but anyway um, I'm gonna make a part two here later this weekend um, and uh, see, try to do some more experience for you and let you know what I all see so let me know what you think and we'll see you in part two all right and now as we're playing on the cogs side here um, the, this was the first time um, I played with the Booska weapon uh, with uh, the young cold train and uh, in my opinion, it doesn't really seem like this is a very accurate weapon. Uh, actually, kind of had high expectations of this weapon. As you can see, uh, I was a total, total rookie and newbie. Uh, with uh, I think this was the very first time I played the game. I ran out of ammo, and I was trying to change weapons. I'm like, uh, I can't change your weapons. What happened? <laughs> um, I was like trying to figure out, okay, now what I'm supposed to do. And I just said, all right, I'm just going to go with my panties pulled down and just start pistol whipping. <laughs> that didn't turn out too well. So, But uh, I, I figured I'd put that in there because everyone always wants to put their best gameplay in. And uh, that uh, by far was not the best. <laughs> Quite humorous, if anything. But anyway, um, on the COG side, um, seems like uh, Mechanic Bear most people want to use first. Because uh, the locusts try coming in and destroy the defenses, so they can get to the um, the uh, krill wall, the uh, evil they call it. And uh, so I, I noticed a lot of people use mechanic Baird um, because he can get a lot of points by fixing the defenses. Um, I don't notice a whole lot of people actually using the young cold train. Um, it's most of the time it's either mechanic Baird um, or Sophia with the sawed-off shotgun. And uh, as you can see, the Maulers got uh, the evil opened up there. Uh, and like I said, during the Locust side, uh, the Maulers are a much more powerful character now in Gears Judgment um, with all the abilities they have. Uh, and when it comes to over, I think they are probably one of the top characters uh, to try to take down. Um, 
And then uh, the other things I noticed for the COG side, I do notice some people using um, the uh, Marksa weapon in this, but not it's not a too popular of a weapon. Um, see, that was the first time I was trying to figure out uh, what that was. Um, I knew she had the meta capability. Um, and I guess since I'm on this topic about functionality, um, the left bumper is going to be your um, grenade selections, okay? And the uh, the Y button is going to change your weapons. Um, so the functionality in itself in the game has changed, um, unlike uh, it used to be for uh, years three. Um, the other changes is uh, um, it seems as if uh, it's not as effective using that turret gun that you're kind of seeing there a little bit. Um, it, it used to be more effective and it could turn a little bit quicker. Um, and even when it comes to functionality of uh, people running, um, it, I had talked to a few other people when they were playing and uh, it didn't really sound like they said that you could run as fast as you used to be able to as well. Um, it seems like it kind of here in gameplay, but uh, when you're in the game, it seems like it is slower uh, for whatever reason. Um, and you see a kicker come in there and try going up that uh, um, fence line there. And uh, again, they're they're much more noticeably uh, stronger in Gears Judgment for this overrun than they were in Gears Three. Uh, much more effective, it seems. I would say if uh, a team wanted to get the e-hole open as fast as possible. I would say everyone would be a team of five tickers, uh, run in with two waves, and typically there's about two defensive lines that you have to get through in order to um, um, get to the, uh, the e-hole or at the last point the generator, which this team's currently at. Um, so anyway, just a bunch of different experiences uh, that I've had in the game. Um, Please comment in this video um, and let me know all your experiences because I'm, I'm sure I missed something. Uh, there's probably a lot I've missed um, when it comes to the functionality, um, changes that you've seen in the game. Uh, you know, obviously the verticality jumping over um, edges and stuff has changed. Um, so let me know what you all think uh, for the early uh, gameplay beta players. Uh, put comments in the comments section and uh, you know be sure to let people know about this channel too because uh, we're going to be doing uh, a lot of stuff when it comes to Gears Judgment um, competitions um, I even have some ideas um, as you saw Sophia get uh, her uh, pussy coal uh, cut in half right there which is very disturbing um, when it comes to competitions and stuff we're going to be doing all kinds of stuff on this channel um, and again first and foremost this is a community based channel Okay, so if any, and that also means if anybody has an idea, uh, which I've done in the past, and what we do on this channel is contact me via you know email or a private message here on YouTube, and let me know exactly the function of what you did and what you want people to see, and I will give those individuals full credit for those videos. So please keep that in mind as well. It's full community gears channel. So we'll catch you up next time, and uh, I'm gonna go back to gameplay. Take care.